Well, hello there, happy crafters. It is a great day today because I just finished um, this awesome chunky traveler's notebook. This is what I call my daily life journal. Um, it's just where I document just little things that, um, you know, that happened for the day or throughout a trip or just anything that I thought was worth documenting. So I actually just finished filming the process video for the very last page and I thought, well, I'm all set up, might as well do the uh, uh, flip through for the journal. So here it is. Let's see how long this takes. I like to do voiceovers because uh, using the awesome microphone that my father-in-law gave me for my birthday makes my voice sound a lot nicer, I think. So, but when you're doing a flip through, you can't uh, do a voiceover. At least I don't think you should. It should just be, you know, talk about the pages. You're showing it off. So, here it is. Um, I wanted to put it inside this uh, Traveler's Notebooks by Webster Pages because this is where it's going to stay. I think it will keep it protected. It's a very, very chunky as you can see and I actually had to do a little patching because some of the, the pages started coming apart. So what I did is I, actually the cover came completely off. So I reinforced it with some fabric washi tape and then I went ahead and stitched it so that there was absolutely no way that it was going to come apart again. And this is definitely going to keep it nice and neat and tight in here. So I don't want to keep taking it out of the cover because I think that, you know, sometimes you take the risk of damaging the the pages or something so so here it is this is i should have started with an actual date obviously this is for 2017 uh if you follow me on instagram you will probably remember a lot of these layouts um, that i posted there so here is the first one and i just do a little title page my friend um heba she has a YouTube channel by the name of My Little Journal. Her, um, she starts her um, journals with a date. So let's say you start in January. You can actually put the first, the date of your first layout, or you can just put the month that you started because you know it's, you know, it might be easier. Well, I didn't do that. I am going to do that. From here on on, all I know is that this one was from 2017 and uh, some of the pages themselves have dates. But you know the awesome thing that, um, that I thought about was that my phone shows me when the photo was taken. So if I want to go back, which I definitely should, the whole point of documenting your memories is to put a date on it so that you remember uh, you know, when it when you took the photo and how old you were or your kids or whoever. So uh, I think I'm going to end up doing that uh, because I know that I did not date, uh, I did not put the date on the pages. But um, so here's my first layout here. Um, I don't know how I'm going to talk about this. I mean, obviously, I don't want to take too long and start going into details of what the products uh, where the products came from. Um, I was not um, doing process videos when I started this journal, so there aren't any process videos for most of, at least for the first half of this book. I did not record any process videos. So anyways, um, this is just a photo of my husband and I. We were next door. Uh, I was actually uh, a birthday party for one of our neighbors and we were just hanging out so I really like the photo and that's the story behind this here and this is just some washi tape and some pretty paper that um, that I had some scraps and here's another one I worked on this layout while I was traveling we were uh, well I 
yes, uh, the photo was not taken when we were traveling. This was an older photo, but the when I worked on it, we were traveling. So I had brought with me my supplies and at the hotel, I, you know, just sat there at the e during the evening time while the kids were watching TV and I got to work on this layout. This is my son. We were at Michael's and he just went to the book section and just sat down in the middle of the aisle and I thought it was so cute. And I do like to add some journaling on my pages um, because, because a photo has to have a story and Although my um, handwriting is not awesome as I would like it to be, it's okay. So that's the story on that. This one here is again for from my son. It's the same guy over here. It's the monkey. I, he was so chunky when he was a baby. I used to call him my chunky monkey. And then I shortened it. Now he's just a monkey. <laughs> um, he loves food. He's really a foodie. This guy, every chance he gets, he uh, says, hey, what do you feel like today? <laughs> and he's always trying to get us to take him out. <laughs> and he really loves food. And that's what this uh, layout is about. Um, I made spaghetti grilled cheese sandwiches. And that's what that photo <laughs> is. Um, this layout i was so happy it got featured in the webster pages uh, instagram account and i was thrilled that they thought that this layout uh, was so cool that they were gracious enough to share it, share it on their instagram feed um, there is some more hidden journaling you know me i do that a lot a lot a lot of the uh my journaling gets uh, hidden because the Traveler's Notebooks, they are, you know, they're kind of small when you compare them to your 12 by 12s, which uh, I'm not doing a lot of that anymore. I'm just doing, I will be doing Project Life um, again, and I will start um, 2018 with a brand new 2018 Project Life album. So um, because they're so small, you have to get creative with your journaling. I also like to add more than one photo for the most part. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, you know, one photo, one photo. Here, there are three. But I do like to use more than one photo if I can. Sometimes the event might not have more than one photo. But if it does, like over here in this case, um, I do like to show off the photos. And that's one thing definitely that I do miss about 12 by 12s that you can add a lot of photos and again you know i really love the awesome gorgeous pages that are decked out to the max but there's only one photo and to me it is about creating but it's it's also about the photos and i want to tell the story and in this layout here we went for a hike we were uh we have been training to hike my husband and i have been training to um hike part of the pacific crest trail it is a trail that runs from canada all the way down in Mex to mexico on the uh, pacific side and um unfortunately we were not able to do it this year we were going to do a, a section that ran from Mammoth and it, we would end up in Yosemite. But God had a different plan. Um, we had to reschedule because of work commitments for my husband. And in the end, the second time that we reschedule it, uh, Mammoth had hit, got hit with a storm, a very early snow storm, and we decided not to risk it. But this photo here, um, it's these photos, because there's more than one. One, two, oh wait, I thought I had three. One, two, I thought I had one more over here. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> my bad. Hey, there's still more than one photo, so that's okay. Um, we were up in Crestline, and my father-in-law and the boys dropped us off at the beginning of this trail, Dart Canyon. Uh, it was the name of the trail. And then we hiked our way back to the cabin. 
it wasn't very long. Uh, I thought I wrote here how many miles. See what I mean? You need to write these things down. I mean, what's the point? I don't even know how many miles. You know what? I do have it. It's not in this. Um, I do have a journal specifically for the hikes. And then I do enter every little detail about the hike in that little journal. I should do a flip through video on that one as well but this one was about this <laughs> so what happened is as we finished the hike we we got into the little town and there was a yard sale going on and I made my husband stopped and I bought this little this paint it's not a real painting it's a copy but it was beautiful it was only five dollars and I could not believe that he let me stop and I carried it the rest of the way so I thought it was kind of a neat story uh, to be told um, and that's what this layout is about I did a tip in here and uh, to add some again it's kind of a hidden journaling there and that's what's going on on this photo another thing that I tend to do a lot is to doodle either around the page or around a photo or around a journal card but I really really love this layout it's just the colors it turned out beautiful and the story itself is kind of funny so then this over here you know I tend to do a two page spread that is obviously together did you know what I mean it's this this is one whole story here I did not do that this page itself it's by itself one story and this one here is a, a different story uh, and again that's that was my prerogative and that's what I did so this one was just a photo it was actually this from this same hike we stopped for um, a little while and we had a snack and I used the filter <laughs> and hey I like the photo and that's what that's about this is a little chipboard piece um, I think it's by jelly bean you see jelly bean soup this uh, this little wood veneer love word here um, this photo here is about my niece uh, she's she uh, went on a trip and she's wearing a chicken costume like a onesie kind of thing and she's sitting next to some chickens oops I was out of frame there for a second um, so I love that photo she's so awesome I love her so much and so I dedicated that page for her there's some hidden journaling there about the photo um that's it it's it's kind of hard for me to go and talk about all the did the you know what i use i think this is a shimmel i hope i'm saying that right it's a shimmel kit and i just cut some things apart to decorate uh and at least that's the one thing that goes well with this layout is the fact that although there are two separate occasions I used the same paper and kind of kept the same color so they do feel like they match even though they're two separate stories. Here is a layout I did for my oldest son. This is the goose. I have a monkey and I also have a goose. He used to be my silly goose when he was a baby and now it's been shortened to goose. So I have, <laughs> I have a goose. No way. So I have a grizzly. If you don't know, I call him my grizzly because if you saw me standing next to him, you'll see how much bigger he is. So I have a grizzly, a monkey, and a goose. We live in a zoo in this house. <laughs> um, so this was his 16th birthday. Uh, we took him out to lunch and then he had some friends over and he wanted a donut cake. So I went to Krispy Kreme's and um i made him a cake with a little banner there uh also this layout got to be featured in webster's pages instagram page and i was so happy um so happy about that so there is did i i thought i filmed a process video on this one i'll have to go look believe me i have videos that i haven't even got a chance to edit and post but I was pretty sure I did. I'll have to look. 
And here on this one, um, I definitely had started filming my process videos at this point because this is one of the layouts that is on my intro uh, little video for all my videos. So when when if you click on one of my videos, you'll get the little intro introduction video and this layout is in there. So I know that there is a process video for this layout. Um, I hardly ever do spreads or pages about me. I think a lot of us do that. And you know what, we need to do that because um, it is about us as well and leaving memories for our children to look at. If for some, you know, God forbid, we, I don't know, something happens, right? So they will be able to look back and see um, photos and stories about you and not just themselves. Um, plus, I think that, you know, if, if you have small children, obviously when they grow older, you also grow older. So they will never get a chance to know who you were because they won't remember. They won't remember you as a young mom, you know, when you were, you know, being your first time mom or, you know, whatever. And they won't remember those years. So if you document yourself, um at the age that you are now, they will get to know a little tiny piece of you when you were young and not just the older self that they will get to know once they are old themselves. Did I make sense or did I just mess you up? <laughs> I hope you understand what I mean. I don't remember my mother as a young person. I only remember her as an older person, right? So hopefully that cleared it up. So. Anyways, uh, I went nuts with this page, uh, girly as can't be. This beautiful floral paper is by Webster's Pages. I do mention them a lot on my videos because I use pretty much all their products. Um, all their traveler's notebooks, their composition notebooks, their planners, on all the sizes and all their papers. So that's what it is. So this is by Webster's Pages, the little butterflies. Oh my goodness, I can't remember. I wanna say they were by We Are, Mem uh, not We Are Memory Keepers, um, Making Memories, I think, and they're no longer around, which is kinda sad, but you know, we all have a lot of embellishments that we just kinda are tucked away and you forget it, that you have and so I found them and um, I used them here. I love the color turquoise and we, my, my cousins were visiting from New Jersey and so we took them to downtown Long Beach here in California and there happened to be a turquoise wall and so I had to take a photo there. And that's what this layout is about. There is no journaling because there is no story other than I like that color. And that's what that's about. Oops. This layout here, I know I have a video, a process video, but I have not had a chance to post it uh, in my YouTube channel, here in my YouTube channel. So this, I don't know, I'm sure you've seen those um, pictures on Pinterest where there, there's an old photo, let's say from the 70s, um, when we were all young back then, little children, because yes, I was born in the 1970s. And then they take the same exact photo 20, 30 years later. So that's kind of what I wanted to do here, or that's what I did in this uh, spread here. The reason why I absolutely love this photo, and I have to show you here to see if you can see. Do you see the monkey? You see his face. Ah, I'm trying to do this. Why can't I? Okay. Do you see his funny little face? So when he was a baby, he loved dinosaurs. And he would walk like a dinosaur. And his little hands would be like this. And he would walk like this all the time. Because he was pretending to be a T-Rex. And so, <laughs> so we are up in the mountains. I mean, I'm talking about maybe eight to nine thousand feet up high in the mountains this place is called dome rock and it has we have tons and tons of memories in this place but so we went back in 2009 
and we set the camera and we set the timer and my husband ran and sat down and we didn't even know but he was making a dinosaur face uh, in this photo and even his little fingers are like this and I just adore this photo so um, we went back again in 2016. Now we went several times in between these two years, but this year in 2016, I had remembered um, this photo and I wanted to take the same photo again. And so I told everybody to pose the exact same way and we set the tripod again and took the, the photo and there it is. He, there's the monkey doing the dinosaur face again. And so I, I think this is probably one of my most favorite uh, layouts um, ever. So that's what that is about. Um, I've just stamped and I followed the same image pattern on both sides, just kind of a little bit of the you know opposite. So you can tell this is replicated here and this is replicated here as well. So I will eventually have a chance to uh, edit the video and post it. But now you've seen the photo. Um, here I think okay so I had to glue these two pages together because it was coming up this is where it started to come apart um, the the book started the traveler's notebook because it was just getting so chunky and I could stretching it and stretching it and so that's what happened there um, but I wanted to do something different here we went to Yellowstone this um, summer, this past summer, 2017, and um, uh, I, my husband took this amazing photo here. Oh my goodness, we were gonna go on a hike and it was so foggy and he forgot something in the car. So me, uh, the boys and I were just, you know, standing there before we went into the actual trail because this is the parking lot over here uh, and he took that photo but the funny thing is that as he was walking out I took a photo of him coming from this direction and uh, I love this photo so much and because it had a dark area here I was able to write uh, using Photoshop I wrote a quote and let me put my glasses so I can read it and it says and into the forest I go to lose my mind and find my soul. I love that quote. We are outdoorsy people and um, the boys are starting to get used to. Uh, the monkey kind of fights it all the time, but if there's a treat at the end of the hike, he will go for it. Uh, the goose, he loves it. He is a mini me of my husband, so he's a little uh, grizzly bear in the making. Um, but speaking of grizzlies as we were walking in here there was a huge sign that warned us that it was very likely that we were going to run into bears in this trail so we i was really nervous uh, i was really nervous because we couldn't see and so what we did and what they advise you is to make noise so um the goose played his phone and he plays um, ACDC, the Beastie Boys, because of course we, my husband and I are Gen X and so we love the 80s and so the boys are growing up listening to uh, the classics, U2 and um, uh, Journey and all the awesome bands from the 80s. So that's how we got through the hike but we did not see a bear. We saw fresh tracks and we saw the claw marks on the trees. And those photos are in the Yellowstone Junk Journal that I'm still working on. But anyways, I've talked enough about this. That's what that was all about. And so I just wrote a little something about um, what was happening here in the photo. This page this spread also got featured in the Webster's Pages um, Instagram account so that was an awesome thing okay so here I kind of slacked off a little bit I I don't know I just you know what I had this empty pocket and so I just added another photo that I took from the Yellowstone trip and that's what it is 
Um, here, this one is just a photo of my BFF. Oops, the letters are coming off. Oh my goodness, I have to glue these. What happened? Maybe I'll do actual stickers. These were just stamps and I glued them. Oh my gosh, they're coming off. So I'm taking these off and I will come back and put real sticker letters there. But that's all that is. There is a little hidden, oh no, look at that, shame on me. There's no journaling. I meant to do it and I forgot, but I will. So there is my hidden journaling there. And this is an actual die cut by Stamping Up. And I just did some watercoloring on the background and then left the, um, the die cuts blank or white. And then use a few, this is by Webster's Pages and these were just some little, I think these are Prima flowers. And that's it, very, very girly girl photo there and a spread and there's some more doodling like I always do. Then, to be a little different, because not everything has to be vertical, I went horizontal this time. I wanted to add um, a lot of photos, and this was the perfect way of doing that. This was um, things that happened during my birthday, and there is a uh, shameless plug. Uh, that is my birthday there. And... Um, I just took some photos of the things that we did that we celebrated. My best friend and I, she um, uh, invited me to go to this painting, you know, one of those painting events where everybody paints the same thing. And so that's what we did here. So there's there I am holding my finished piece and that's myself and my best friend. And we also went to my niece's engagement party that happened to be, um, you know, on the same day. And that was fun. And then we also went out to this awesome crepe place in uh, downtown Long Beach by Naples. And um, that's what that is. So that's just a little spread about my birthday and what I did to celebrate. This was a spread that I worked on. This um, I am part of the Reset Girls design team, and I was using. I wanted to use one of the kits. Um, this was the oh my goodness, the thankful kit, and so I had this awesome photo of the goose, the monkey, and the dog, and that is our dog miniature schnauzer Chase. Uh, and I love that photo. I wish I didn't cut him out, but I don't even know why I did that. Um, and it was a beautiful black and white photo. So, and yes, there is some hidden journaling there. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, what else is new, Claudia? And more doodling around the frame and around that. Now, if you have seen some of my videos, I should show you this one really quick because I, what I'm doing now and I'm getting in the awesome habit that before I work on a spread, I do a sketch of it. So, and what I mean is I think about what I wanna do first, sketch it out to make sure I like it, and then I go ahead and produce the spread. So this is, of course, a Webster's Pages composition notebook. And I have two books in here. This is my, um, Commonplace notebook that I got started with Corey the Reset Girl from her Facebook group. And this is a sketchbook that I have added here. And this is where I do all my sketches beforehand. I used to make them really messy, but then when I got this book, I decided, no, I gotta do them nice and neat and so I can refer back to them. Um, so let me see if I have it because I know that spread is in here. And the, oh, the ones that I have used, wait a minute, I had put a little star, oh, right here. So, <clears throat> let's see if you can see it. This sketch here is this spread over here. So it is very helpful and, um, you know, if I, 
I am a visual person, obviously. Um, I need to see where things are going to go beforehand. Uh, hopefully that, you know, eliminates a lot of mistakes. So I just wanted to show you that really quick because I am beginning to um, enlarge my collection of sketches. Uh, most of the ones in here are are from there even if I when I like for example this one I actually thought of this before and did it without having a sketch but I loved it so much that I turned it into a sketch and now it's in the book and then here is a spread of the monkey he had a haircut he it's, doesn't care much about his hair but for some reason this time he did have a photo that he wanted to try my hairdresser to replicate and I thought it turned out so awesome and how he looked so young and you know like a little boy here and then he looked like a teen over here and just because of a haircut so uh, that's what that is about um, there's nothing you know I did some uh, splattering on the background and a little bit of doodling around and some journaling on the side there. And here is a absolutely love this uh, spread. There is a process video of this layout in my YouTube channel. And now I will refer back to here because so this this day here is the same day here. Oh man, it's off off center there. Um, the haze had or the fog had started lifting um i don't know if you can see there's some trees on the background and that's where we came from and that the tree line is way over there so we had just came off of the forest and outside the fog had lifted and it was super clear and beautiful uh and so i took an awesome shot and i also was able to do some um, journaling right here uh, using uh, Photoshop and I printed the picture this way and then just cut it in half because sometimes you need to show all the details of your photo yes as you guessed that there is some hidden journaling there <laughs> um, so that's what that's about sometimes if I know that I have because believe me I don't only do this isn't the only spread with regards to this what happened what was happening this day i do have my junk journal where i go into more detail and i will probably have all the photos taken during this trip put in one of my big huge 12 by 12 project life album because i took hundreds and hundreds of photos so i have to pull them out and put them in an album somehow so now we're coming to the end the very last spread for this awesome traveler's notebook i just finished it this morning i filmed a process video i will have that up soon uh in my youtube channel but this is the reason why i decided to make this flip through video because i just finished it i use the awesome um cherish uh kit collection kit by the reset girl and it, this is it has a obviously a christmas theme today is um december 8th oh my goodness let me look at my phone to see what time it is yes it is december 8th um and this is the last spread in this journal which makes me so so happy uh i obviously will stop any more um, journaling from here on on with regards to my daily love life i'm only working on my december daily and finishing up some projects like this and because i want to start fresh and new in the new year so that's it guys um very simple layout can you guess what this is i don't need to tell you i'm kind of bit you know getting like embarrassed like a broken record yes it is it's some head and journaling okay maybe i'll have to come up with a new trick for next year or so that is it there's the chaser um this was a page because everybody thinks oh he's so cute look at those booties well 
the booties are not there because he's being cute he's been chewing on his paws so we put these booties on to prevent him from chewing on himself so as the little car says here <laughs> If there's naughty or nice well he's being naughty so that's what that was about I use an app and I can't remember what it's called because I just got it it's brand new let me see if I can find it um, I use a, an app to it is called color prop color pop um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it yet I know there's more out there but I used it and so it turns your photo into black and white and then you can go back and recolor a certain part of the photo and so I wanted to focus on the little Santa booties there and so that's what that is about and it went, it went so well with the colors of the Cherish uh, kit by the Reset Girl so guys that is it I don't know how long this video it is but that is what it is Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was entertaining and you found some, um, I don't know, some inspiration in here somehow. Please let me know if you have any questions. Um, if I can answer anything, I will not, uh, you know, maybe I'll put some links of some of the things because, but there's just so much it would take forever to list all the supplies that I've used in here. So I hope that again, you find time to create something for yourself to have some time to be crafty because we all need a little crafty time for ourselves and for our sanity uh, let me know if I can um, I don't know do other videos on something I'm not sure so you let me know so thanks again so much until next time I hope you get your crafty on bye